Why I think Faggy's decision to announce it this year at this Comic Con, the first with fans in two years post pandemic, was the right decision. I've seen many people in many guises speak about the pandemic and how it's affected the average human being in the street, how it's darkened the world, it's made them depressed in some cases, it's really inflicted a lot of pain and misery on people and how just little tiny things like winning a game of football or something or doing something in an artistic medium can affect and bring out positivity and really change that person's life for the better. To me this is what Kevin Feige is getting into here, he's getting into this realm post pandemic with these decisions to announce these big projects. It gives people hope gives them something to look forward to if they're maybe down in the dumps. Gives them something to stick around for maybe, I don't know, I don't want to get too dark and, yeah, bit weird. I don't want to go down that path, but we want to remain upbeat here, as I go off a fucking cliff and can barely speak, knocking on 12am here. Kang being directed by Cretan is going to be epic, especially since the Kang Dynasty follows the Fantastic Four movie, and how that movie uh, will lead into the Kang Dynasty. I said, man, Again, I don't know how they're going to do the Fantastic Four movie. I know, I think, in the original story, what created the Fantastic Four was a f- some energy thing threat from space. They go up on a mission. Also, that gives them their powers. I don't know how they could maybe implement that and maybe work that into me. Can they work that into a Kang playing a villain in that as well? I don't know. I'd just love to see more majors, personally. But, um... Just getting the Fantastic Four movie out of the way, introducing them to this universe in time for these Avengers movies. It's big personalities we, we need. We were speaking about this on this channel not too long ago, me and Stephen, about how there's a real dearth of big personalities. We know Tony Stark and know Steve Rogers and know Natasha Romanoff. You're missing these big figures. You need to fill these figures in, replace them with equally big figures, I think Sam Wilson can become that guy as Captain America, I don't think he's quite there just now, but he's on that path, and I think with Tony Stark you can certainly bring in a Shuri or something if she's not going to be the next Black Panther, there's nothing to suggest she can't be Black Panther, and be a cerebral sort of brilliant scientific Black Panther at the same time, but you need to be filling the gaps, you're missing Chadwick Boseman as well, and I love the coverage of Black Panther in this Comic Con, just... The trailer, really special trailer for me. The stuff coming out from the cast, how they're really honouring Chadwick's memory. And it's a celebration of him, this movie. You need people like that to be replaced. And bringing fin- the Fantastic Four in, they can certainly come in and have a huge impression on a, an Avengers movie. I don't know if there's maybe previews for that in the comics, them actually working in the Avengers, or whether they've always been compartmentalised in their own stories, I'm not entirely sure, but certainly, if they're falling in the same footsteps as maybe Infinity War and Endgame, you're going to have upwards of 20, 30 heroes on the screen at any given moment, and <laughs> you'd be foolish not to put the Fantastic Four in there, for me anyway, and again, you've got all these huge personalities and various degrees of development, Kate Bishops and stuff like that, they can come in, um, I'm blanking on the name just now, Yelena, next part Widow, but this point of these movies, two, three years down the road, these characters will be firmly, f- uh, I'm trying to think of the word, firmly established. That's the word I'm looking for in this universe. There's been a lot of gnashing of teeth about Marvel just recently. Um, the struggles, perhaps, post-Infinity Saga, how they, they, they don't have the personalities, how they're not quite hitting off, how it's taking them longer than Phase 1, 2 and 3 and 4, maybe. 1, 2 and 3. To make things stick, we'll get there. I'm sure we will. I trust Kevin Feige. I think he will get it right in the end. Secret Wars will possibly be like Endgame, multiple directors with a lead director, possibly. So it's going to be they're going to be huge movies, man. These Avengers movies are like small cities, huge big departments all working in tandem to make magic happen. So it wouldn't surprise me, man, if you can have two director units on like a, a Hobbit movie, Circus and Jackson. Why the fuck not have it? Uh, in, a, in an Avengers movie, and why not have Daniel Destin Cretton maybe coming in? If it is that, I always get his name mixed up. I've literally just read the name Destin Daniel Daniel Destin. 
it's like uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt again, John David Washington. Why not have him come in and have an influence? You're obviously going to have ripple effects. What he does in that first Avengers movie will have a knock-on effect on the second one, clearly. But this is what Kevin had to say about his rationale behind announcing what he did, when he did, at Comic-Con 2022. He had this to say, well, you know we're in a slightly different rhythm now. Phase 1, 2 and 3 were less projects over more years. Now we are doing more projects, and that's one of the things I took away as well, the sheer number of projects and how quickly we're going to rip through these phases and get to an Avengers, a sort of defining Avengers moment. It took 10 years to get there with the first three phases. It's only taken something like 6 years with these phases. It's expedited quite a bit and there's a huge amount of content get churned out in that period, so that's something I, I sat up and took notice of personally. I'm like, wow, you're getting an Avengers movie. It felt quick to me, because he wasn't that long ago speaking about how there was no plans for an Avengers movie. Kevin Feige, that is. Now he's announced too. But this is his rationale behind the announcements, he says, over more years. Now we're doing more projects. With all the amazing series we were able to do on Disney Plus over less years, and it felt like we needed to let people know. People used to have that guide point of when an Avengers uh, would come to cap the phase. It felt like announcing today the multiverse saga and two Avengers films would cap that. Uh, would cap that was something that we needed to share and like I completely agree they did need to share it for a whole array of reasons because people are m maybe more downtrodden and negative about Marvel just now than ever before. So to announce the likes of Fantastic Four, to announce and confirm that Majors is playing the big baddest Kang the Conqueror to announce all these great TV shows, to finally give us a date for Blade, to give us two Avengers movies to look forward to, I think it's important. And it'll maybe give confidence that what they're doing, they've, they've thought this out, this isn't on the hop. They're not within a state of disarray just now. They know what they're doing and they'll get there. Trust them. These guys had the Avengers movies, Infinity War, Endgame planned out, had a cut of it. Very rough. Years in advance. They know what they're fucking doing, man. I trust them. Um, I agree, we need more personalities. Well, they can recast Wolverine since Hugh has confirmed he's retired as Wolverine. Disney still has an old Fox contract that expires in 2025. Well, it all makes sense, doesn't it, for the X-Men at the moment. And again, that that's why maybe the capping it off with those two Avengers movies, getting them out of the way, getting this phase out of the way, getting this saga out of the way is important because we can then move on to a new era with the X-Men and mutants popping up in earnest in this universe and then we get another saga another story look man that may be the end of an era in terms of Marvel they may just go ahead and recast everything at that point start from scratch because there's so many great stories to be told sort of fighting the Avengers versus the X-Men and stuff like that I mean there's so much potential there in terms of storytelling and to continue back your, to back yourself into that corner with the current Incarnations, they're getting older as well, man. The likes of Chris Hensworth, he's in his 40s now, or knocking on 40. They're starting to get on, so that may be the clean cut to then just scrap everything and start from scratch. Fresh faces, fresh direction. I don't know, but look, I enjoyed the fact that Feige came out and at least says, Look, yeah, that's why I announced it, bitches. Have at it.